The crisis isn't only affecting our wallets, it's also hurting us emotionally. Many Americans, New Jerseyans alike, are stressed about the economy, and according to the American Psychological Association, nearly two-thirds of people now say that the economy is a significant source of stress out there. Hard to believe, right? Well, psychology has a lot to do with whether or not people are buying, selling, or panicking right now. And here now to talk strategy is Gary Hager, president of Integrated Wealth Management in Edison. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, you know, our last guest actually said, no, no, it, it, it's a myth that there is money out there uh, to be loaned and to be borrowed. What do you think about that? There is. As a matter of fact, um, Jeff M. Elt from GE this morning said, after saying that General Electric hit their targets at 45 cents a share, also said they have absolutely no problems in the commercial paper market. There is money there. The banks are still semi-frozen. But there is money available both at the commercial level and at the residential or personal level. Well, that's not really helping Wall Street right now. It's not helping no. the individual investor who has so much of their money mm -hmm. and their nest eggs on Wall Street and True. in stocks. So are there any safe havens out there right now? I would say that there isn't any safe haven beyond what was always the safe haven. The first thing people need to do is have an investment policy statement or a very specific understanding of asset allocation based on risk tolerance, time horizon, needs for cash flow, tax sensitivity. So once you have that, you can basically ensure that you have an exposure to asset classes that are traditional and asset classes non-traditional like gold real estate, commodities, and the like. What do you say to people these days who are selling? They're panicking or they're listening to whoever and they decide to take their money out and they put it in treasury bills. On News 12 New Jersey, tonight, I am officially declaring <laughs> the bottom is in. This is it. It's, this is it. The bottom is in. You saw it today. You saw a thousand point swing. And another thing you saw is you saw an unusual intraday swing in gold of over $100. Mm -hmm. Why was gold going down with the market? And the reason was, and the G7s are all meeting, basically coming out, because a significant part of the G7 nations own a lot of the gold, and they were coming out of gold positions. My expectation coming into next week, we may test these lows, but the bottom, in my opinion, is in, and people should be looking, if they, if they, if they sold, they should be looking to buy back in, and if they didn't sell, sell, they should be holding on. All right, Gary, thank you so much, and you heard it here first. We hit a bottom, hopefully. All right, thanks again. My pleasure.